Okay, this video might be pretty controversial. Not necessarily because of how the fight goes. I mean, that might be. But uh, kind of because of how some of the characters act. But I might have another video explaining that. But yeah, so this video is going to come out probably Saturday. as That's the day I'm recording. Uh, uh, video for 11 Blue Kick-Ass will be coming soon. I just gotta figure it out because it's not uh, saving too big, and I don't know. I'll figure that out soon, and then the Halloween video will be on, out on Monday. Just so you guys are aware of that. But, anyways, let's get into this video. What if Mace Windu sensed the treachery of Anakin Skywalker and the shift of his emotions while he was about to kill Sidious and blocked Anakin's attack instead of losing his hands? Mace Windu raises his blade, about to end the Sith, but at the corner of his eye, he sees Anakin Skywalker ignite his blade. He blocks his attack at the last second, looking at him in shock and some disgust. Mace continued their blade lock, and then pushed Anakin back. Skywalker, why are you doing this? I need him. Unlike any of you, he can help me fix my problems. I told you to spare him. I gave you your chance. Anakin, he purposely caused a war which killed billions of people, and now he wants to destroy the Jedi Order. Death is what he deserves for that. He is too dangerous to live. As long as he lives, the Republic is in danger, and I won't allow that. Now step aside, Skywalker. I must finish this. Do you expect me to follow your orders after all you've done to me? I finally gave you my trust, and you betrayed it. Can you blame me for not trusting you? But I had to. You were the chosen one. The whole galaxy needs to trust you. The galaxy is counting on you to make the right decision. I won't let you kill him, Anakin said as he stood in between Mace and the Emperor. Very well, then. I gave you your chance. Mace ignited his blade, and so did Anakin. The two fought an intense battle. Mace used his vape pad to fight Anakin, but Anakin wasn't using the dark side. He was using the light side. In some anger, Mace flipped and spun all around Anakin, who could barely see his movements. Mace was tired from his fight with Sidious. He was in his 50s. He couldn't keep up with someone who was as powerful as Anakin. Anakin used all of his power to break through Mace's defenses and choke him with the Force, holding him in the air, palpitating the watch from the corner of the room. Good, Anakin, good. Mace levitated a chair and threw it at Anakin. They both recovered. Anakin got up first and attacked Mace with an aggressive parry of attacks. Mace would block them. Mace would go then go on the attack. Anakin couldn't defend against Mace, so he commenced in a blade lock. Skywalker, I'm giving you one last chance. You are a good person. You don't have to do this. It's too late. He's the only one who can help me save her. Not you. You didn't even try to help. You never even told me about it. How could I have helped? You wouldn't have. The Jedi are evil, and you're the worst of them, and now you will die for it. Anakin struck at Mace faster and faster each time Mace had enough of this, and used all of his power on Anakin, moving faster than he could see. Anakin was overwhelmed by the speed of Mace. He swung low, attempting to get his legs, but Mace outmaneuvered him, flipping over him and throwing him through a wall, and another, and another. He was thrown nearly 50 feet back, knocking him out. Mace considered ending Anakin but decided not to, as he could yet still be redeemed, but not by him. Palpatine saw this. Mace ran at him, but jumped out of the window when he heard the clones coming. Mace lands on a speeder, then jumps from one to another, then reaches the ground eventually, as he feels it begin the death, the suffering, the fear. His worst fears had happened and come into play. The destruction of the Jedi had begun. Mace goes towards the temple, but stops when he hears blasters, screams, and cries. It sees fires. It was over. There was nothing he could do about it. But lived to fight another day. He wanted more than anything to go in there, fight alongside his comrades. But it was lost. Even he couldn't save them. Not alone. Eventually, he gets a message from Bail Organa and meets with him, Yoda, and Obi-Wan. They go to the temple. Mace is sent to fight Anakin, and Obi-Wan and Yoda face off against Darth Sidious. This way, Obi-Wan doesn't have to do what he won't want to. 
but is able to help in the fight. Obi-Wan would go to Padme Aileen's apartment. As he knew she didn't trust Mace, then Mace would sneak onto her ship, and Obi-Wan and Yoda would leave to fight the Emperor. Padme would see Anakin. The conversation would be the same. Then Anakin sees Mace, and is in anger, less than he was with Obi-Wan, but also fear. He just straight up couldn't beat Mace when they fought, and he knew it. Anakin, I'll give you one last chance to surrender can both walk away from this unscathed. Anakin's attention is fully on Mace, so he doesn't choke Padme. Surrender? With my new powers? You don't stand a chance. But I'm not passing up this chance to get revenge. Very well then. They both ignite their blades. Anakin jumps at Mace, who deflects every single attack with such precision and mastery. Only Dooku was like this. Anakin thought. Mace knew multiple forms of lightsaber combat. He used his experience to counter many different moves, and it can press his attack harder and harder. Mace knew what he was doing, just playing it back on defense. Anakin used all his rage, picking up Mace and throwing him into a table. Then he continued with his attack, struck at him faster and faster and harder and harder. Mace never thought this would be as much of a challenge as it was. It can continue with his relentless onslaught of attacks, of overhead swings. Then Mace sprung, used Vapad and all that he had learned, and went on the offensive, moving faster than Anakin could comprehend. Anakin eventually just held his saber in front of him, hoping it would block some of Mace's strikes. Mace would keep on going, and keep attacking. Then, he would deliver multiple strikes with the strength of the force, then knock out the saber from Anakin's head. He would push him as hard as he could into a wall, breaking it. Anakin laid on the ground, coughing and rolling. Writhing in pain, he looks up to Mace with a who put his lightsaber up to his throat. In the name of the Intergalactic Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, Skywalker. Vader puts his hands together in a surrendering motion. Then separates them, as Anakin would send the most powerful force wave he could summon. Mace then realized he would have to kill Anakin. His ego wouldn't allow himself to be beaten. He was too dangerous to be kept in the cell. If he escaped, the galaxy could fall. So they both picked up their blades one more time. Anakin unleashed a war cry as he attacked Mace who stood his ground. Anakin force choked Mace with the full power of the dark side and threw him a few dozen yards. Anakin charged at Mace who was on his hands and knees. As Anakin lunged at Mace, Mace would stand up and spin behind him and impale him in the heart, killing him. He would then leave and get Padme to Pua's Masa and would meet there with the others after they killed Palpatine. The Republic would slowly be rebuilt, but Padme would still die. Bale would become Chancellor for a term and restore democracy, and all of Palpatine's allies would be exposed and arrested. The remaining 100 or so Jedi would rebuild the Order, less attached to the Repu Republic this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was it was a fun one to make. Uh, a lot of people think Mace just didn't like Anakin or even hated him, which I don't think is the case. I can I'm gonna make a video about that soon, maybe in a week or two. I'm not sure, but yeah, I I feel like he would have given Anakin uh, a few chances to come back to the light, because I mean I don't think he just he didn't want him to turn to the dark side. Obviously, I just feel like that's a given. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you.